G'day, it's Pete from the Property Club. I know it's been a long while. I'm actually doing daddy daycare today uh, here at the house, um, but actually Lynn's gonna help me out. Yeah, so Lynn's helping me today with the kids. I'm gonna go out with Brian to San Narciso because I'm doing the uh, daddy daycare thing. And uh, yeah, I've got Pete here and I've got Jackson, the two boys. And um, yep, this is young Cisco. Uh, Clark's outside having fun. But yeah, I'm going to head out with Brian and we're going to check out San Narciso. Okay. All right, Lynn. See you later, darling. Okay, there. See you. See you, Cisco. Hey, look at him. Look at him. This one's trouble, mate. What's up, Jackson? Why do they trust me Bevel's I'm not sure, mate. You, you find out and you tell me. Have fun with the PlayStation, eh? See you later. All right. Now that's done. So Lynn's looking after the kids. I can finally head out. All right, Clark, how you doing, buddy? How you doing, Clark? Yeah, he's just chilling, he's relaxing. It's a beautiful day. Actually, yesterday, I'll show you a snapshot of this really quickly, but yesterday, I was looking at the islands and literally two army helicopters came flying through doing military drills just at those islands. Helicopters, boys, look at this. No, they're helicopters, they're big helis. Army helicopters, bears. Your helicopter plane. Can you see them? Pete, yeah. can you see them? How cool. The, the helicopter plane. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, bruh. Really awesome. Hey, there's a cow there too, look at that. You don't often see cows there, but in the back paddock you do, but not at the front at the beach here. So yeah, gonna head over to Brian's house, say good day, And uh, we're gonna go to San Narciso, let's go. So come on, follow me, let's go. No, I'm sorry, Clark, honey. You're not coming with daddy this time. All right, next time. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, mate. Yeah, okay. Then. Mate, we're doing YouTube. It's been a while. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> let's, uh, I'll meet you down the back. All right, I'll meet you in the car. Let's See ya. But yeah, Brian's place is looking pretty good. Check out the garden. So this is his backyard. And we got the Jeep just there. Just resting. She needs a new clutch and a handbrake. I'm waiting for that to come in. Parts aren't the easiest to get here unless you own a, you know, Toyota or something, but Subaru and Jeeps or anything, uh, you know, that's not Toyota pretty much here in the Philippines can be really hard to get parts for. Let's go. Am I driving or you? You're the driver, man. All right, I'm driving, let's go. Uh, oh, Jesus, a funny smell in this car. What did you get up to last night in this car? Nothing. It just smells like smells like shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I just, I just oh, why? Is it me? Is it me no, that no, smells? Something's died in the car. Something died in the car. You reckon? <laughs> All right, well, now now that's sorted. Where are we headed? Where are we headed, Brian? To San Francisco, to yep. Moats. Moats. Matt, Matt Moats Resort. All right, let's go to Moats. Let's check out Moats Resort and San Narciso. All right, so we're headed out to San Narciso, cruising out. Beautiful countryside here. Check this out. Love the countryside. It's the country life for me, the province life. We went out last night, me and Brian, and uh, with a mate, and we went down to Barreto. Barreto was pretty good. Thumbstar, shout out to Lee at Thumbstar. He does this special now, it's insane. You buy one meal, you get a meal free. You buy one beer, you get a beer free. 
I kid you not. And then Lee, mate, no joke, he'll, he, mate, if you're sitting there at Thumbstar, mate, he'll shout you, you know, like shots, like vodka red square shots. And I think, like, mate, he shouted us what? Three, three shots, right? Last night, yes, yeah, three shots. Yeah. Three shots yeah, for yeah. free. And he gave us a free meal each. And he gave us a free beer. And I'm like, this guy's a champion. So, of course, you know, you want to buy a few extra beers after that because it's like, well, this this bloke's a good bloke. But, yeah, we, we were out with a mate and we had to show him at, around. And, uh, yeah, we had a good time. But we ended up here around this area in San Narciso. And uh, we went to a local Filipino bar and that, that was all right. Uh, just interesting. It was just a bit of an experience to show our, our mate, you know, what the... Uh, you know the local vibes all about and what's going on had a few beers kicked back and uh yeah it was a good night overall yeah what do you reckon mate fantastic night yeah but be, uh, be honest the be honest was good. Yeah. it was good the food really yeah. yeah and good value right i think uh, we had a really good night well mate i had the kebabs had kebabs with the veggies and um yeah, I think our mate had the burgers. And that, that grilled chicken burger, how good was that? Yeah. The grilled good. chicken burger, yeah. yeah. It, it was like the Hungry Jack's grilled chicken burger from Australia, mate. It was so good. Hey, mate, mate, be honest. Mate, hit us up. You, you, you've been going to Angelis and Barreto, right? The bar scene. Where do you prefer nowadays? Barreto or Angelis? Uh, I think... They're both good. Angelis is mostly the best, but Barreto has its moments. Yeah. Close to home. But you can't find something like Thumbstar in Angelis, can you? I mean, buy one, get one, meals and, and nah, drinks. you can only have Fred's pies. Oh, Fred's <laughs> pies are good. Oh, look at these guys. They are uh, they look like Mormons or something. They're out on the street trying to sell the Bible. Good on them. Yeah. Okay, so we're at the turn-off here at San Narciso turn off come on mate let me in here we go have a look and see mopes resort haven't been there yet and uh, i've been meaning to go there for many many years now people have been saying mopes is so good and it's a good place so i'm gonna check it out Just keep heading down here. Okay, so this is like the main drag here in San Narciso. And we're looking for a couple of resorts, in particular Mope Resort. And we'll park up at Mopes. And Mopes is right on the beachfront. So behind these houses here, yep, you've got the beachfront. So we've just got to find Mopes and we're golden. See the little laneway down there? Yeah. To the beach and actually, did look nice. I'm excited to see it. Long time. It's a nice house, that one. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you could buy an old house here on the beachfront. These are all beachfront homes. It's a really good opportunity because you could buy something like this. It is very cheap here. I can tell There's you right now. There you go. One back there for sale, right? Turn it into a resort, a business, and you're golden. Here we go, D Resort. Dub Resort, bro. Basketball court just here. And I think this must be Mopes. Or oh, maybe not, maybe it's further down. It looks like they're doing some construction here. Oh, that's not Mopes, that's something else. All right, Brian, well. You must be doing it further. We'll have to put the all wheel drive yeah. button on. <laughs> Pretty sure this car doesn't have all wheel drive, but anyway. I'm not gonna lie, I'm glad it's your car and not mine, mate. <laughs> Oh, that's another nice property, isn't it? Beautiful property. I'm excited to see it. Oh, that's it there, mate. There you go. That's Mopes there. Is that? Ah, uh, yeah. That's yeah, Mopes. Yeah. Alrighty, parked up, and I've just seen this house. This house is amazing. Check this out. Beautiful modern property. This is right next to Mopes here. It's gorgeous. This looks like a home, like a luxury villa. Okay, on the left-hand side. And then on the right-hand side, it looks like, because they've had the extra land, they've actually turned this into some kind of resort or something here. It looks very modern and very, very nice. 
and you can see like this is concrete here but they're updating the road so look at the moment the road does not look flash but just to the left is mopes and we're about to head in and check it out <laughs> Brian said he's going to head straight for the bar so he's heading into the bar so this is it mopes resort and I've seen this sign really cool check this it says beachfront resto bar from 7 a.m. to 11 daily and on a Saturday they have live band and bonfire every Saturday night so I reckon you know from Manila it's only a four hour drive here it's worth coming up to some place like this to check it out on the weekend and the best part cheap beers oh yeah let's go And these must be the rooms for the resort. No doubt Brian is going to be looking for the bar. Did you find the bar yet? Yeah. Yep. Charlie Don't Surf. Thirsty Turtle Surf Bar. That's pretty cool. Hang loose, man. Cool. Got a gym set up. Check out that Harley, that's cool. That's really cool. <clears throat> Look at this, there's a car wash. Well, someone's getting their car washed. Anyway, here, at the front on the beachfront. That's funny. I love mopes. Yeah, it's a cool place. Oh, mate, do you want your car washed? Yeah, just down here, I think they drive down or something. Yeah, it's a car wash. Check it out. Look at this. Wow. I should have brought my bathers. This is amazing. I oh, look at, mate, they've redone all of this. This has got the concrete yeah. road here and everything. This yeah. looks unreal. Oh, wow. Wow, and like, look behind, you can see this house, this big house here, beachfront. San Narciso, eh? Look at this, this is heaven. Volleyball, got, you know, volleyball, then you've got all these beautiful, you know, it looks like a, they would be pine trees over there, eh? Like a pine yeah, tree yeah, forest. Yeah, similar to the ones down, down our way. Yeah, they look like pines, but they've got lots more here. Yeah. Beautiful. It's really nice here. I'm shocked. I'll be honest, I came a long time ago and it was nothing like this. It just, it wasn't a nice area and you wouldn't really spend time down here five, six years ago when I come here. But now I'll be honest, it's improved out of sight. It looks great. <laughs> Look at this. There's a pirate ship. That's unreal. That must be a bar. No doubt that's like a pirate ship bar or something. Look at that. Very cool. You can see the beach houses here and different resorts. So these look like, you know, luxury beach homes that people own here. And then you've got mopes just here. The mopes. Some beautiful beach homes. Bloody awesome. It's a great spot, eh? Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. And you can still see the islands just like we can. Yeah. And uh, actually you can see all the mountain range as well. Let's go for a little stroll down the beach, have a look. What I like about this is it's like 
it's really sheltered. So I just want to show you this because I think it's important that everyone understands it. Because where we are, like today, I'm telling you, there's a bit of waves. Whereas you can see here, to each like peninsula, it's kind of blocked up. So it's like San Narciso is a bit of a bay. On that side, you've got there, right, and you've got another peninsula on the other side. So this is really sheltered. It's like a bay area, and, and the waves are very, very subtle. It's almost like a, a bay or a lake. So, you know, if you like the vibe that, you know, instead of beaches with really big waves, you know, if your kids aren't strong swimmers, for example, or you're not, you know, they can literally come here. It's like a bay area. It's almost like swimming in a lake. So very, very easy uh, to learn to swim here. And it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm regretting not coming here sooner is the first thing. And the second thing I'm regretting is not bringing my swim, swimwear because I'd love to have a swim today. It's gorgeous. Look at this. Loving it. I really love this place, it's great. Awesome. What a great place to live when you consider Liwa is another 15, maybe 10, 15 minutes north, south. You've got Barreto, takes about 40 minutes. Probably to be fair, with traffic, you're looking at you know anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic. If it is peak, it will be 45 minutes, but still not that far. You know, 45 minutes to Barreto. And then another 10, 15 to SBMA. And then another 45 minutes to Angeles City. And onwards from there to Manila. Look at this. The Pearl Sunset. That must be a bar. But it doesn't look like it's open. Could be an opportunity for someone. It'd be a great bar, that's for sure. What's this? Have a look. It's like there's this vacant lot here. And then in the middle of this vacant lot is this statue. Look at this. This is interesting. Very interesting. Only in the Philippines, mate. Fiona Micro Beach Resort and D Resort. Dot Resort, bro. Maybe he's a Kiwi. Pacific. Pacific. That's cool. Ferrari. <laughs> I don't think it's a Ferrari. Come on. Mustn't be. Doesn't look like a Ferrari. I mean, would a Ferrari have interior like that? But look, it is kind of cool. Ferrari. <laughs> Fake Ferrari. That's funny, mate. Fake Ferrari. Mm. Ever seen anything like that? That's pretty funny. Yeah. It's hilarious. And yep, there's a bar in here. Nice little bar. Yeah. 
So it looks like they are renovating here and making improvements, which is a good sign. Jet ski. Let's go. Check this. I've just spotted it's either another resort or some kind of nice looking new build or villa or both. Let's have a look. Let's see it there. And it's got this blue glass, this really nice blue glass, which would be great for the heat to keep the heat out. I really like this because there's nothing quite like it around this area. You know, with the concrete sealed road, it's really nice, especially for, you know, people like me. I like it, you know, with the concrete sealed road, you know, people like me, I've been trying to lose weight recently and I've lost about, actually, believe it or not, 40 kilograms. So I got to, at my peak during pandemic, 116 kilos. So you probably wondered where I've been the last, uh, you know, six months or so, over six months now, I think, since I uploaded a video. Because at my peak, I got to 116 kilos and I've actually gotten down, I think, over uh, 40, kil 40 kilos. Yeah, would that be right? And I got down to 76 kilos. I recently went back to Australia. I did put on about four kilos just because the meat was so good there. And uh, I was eating lots of good food in Australia. Had to spoil myself. So I'm back around 80 kilos. So in total, I'm back to minus 36 kilos. But at one stage, I was around minus 40 kilos at 76, right? Which was really good. And how I did it, my secret was just walking and jogging every single day. And I love this place because look at it. It's beautiful and it's got this sealed concrete road. And for me, I can come down, hang out, you know, walk down here, and then at the end, go for a beer at Mopes. So let's go and do that. So yeah, that's why you haven't seen much of me on YouTube because I got really unwell and uh, got a bit sick and I needed to lose the weight because um, the doctor said if I don't, it's going to be a very serious problem and you know, I want to see my kid, it's important to me so I want to see him grow up, you know, I don't want to not be there for him. So yeah, that's why, you know, I stopped doing YouTube. And I focused on the health and instead of, you know, spending, you know, a couple hours a day doing daily vlogs, I just went out and I did jogging instead and just got out there and started to, you know, be a lot more healthy with what I ate. And thank God for that, that I did. Because, yeah, life's a lot better now, I'll be honest. Life's great. I've never been healthier and I've never been happier. That's oh, really good. Yeah, this is bad. Look, the bar opens at 7am to 12am. 7am. Why, you want to be drinking from 7am, Brian? Not, yeah, no, but it's... You're an animal. <laughs> A good price on the beer, SMLs, 70 pesos. 70 pesos, but mate, 7 a.m., what, you'd be in the bar at 7 a.m. No drinking, way. would you? But, uh... I'm just pulling your chain. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's beautiful. I mean, look at that water. It's clean. It's gorgeous. Really nice place. Well worth a visit, I must say. No! No! Definitely different than that, this one. Oh, they've got a surfboard cage, so you can probably uh, learn to surf or yeah, yeah. rent surfboards here. Might have to inquire. Surf shack. So, do you have any like signature dishes? Like, what's what's your best food here? What's the favourite dish? What can you recommend? A what? Killer win. Killer win. What's that? 
Can you show us? Like a sushi. Where's that? Killer win. Which one? This one. Killer win. I've never even heard of that before. Fish it's fish. Okay, nice. Oh, it's a raw fish. Okay. Awesome. Oh. And then buffalo wings. Oh, and you have buffalo wings. That's good to know. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> She's shy. So, what do you want to drink? expats at the bar hanging out I'm just hanging around I decided to go for the banana shake here at Mopes and uh, I just found out the guy apparently who, he's not here at the moment, Brian uh, met him, um, but actually apparently he's a Queenslander. He's from Australia, his name is Matt, Matt Mope, and we're here to check it out. Brian wanted me to come down and to film a video. So, mate, sorry we couldn't meet you this time, Matt. Maybe next time. Uh, anyway, nice to meet you. E meet you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, you like the place? Really, really got a nice vibe about it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's really, it's really good. It's got that beach feel about it. Yeah, and you've got some, you know, your eye on some food. I think it had, you know, good breakfast menu there. Beef tapper from like 200 something peso, which, you know, is pretty fair value, I think. Yeah. yeah. Just gonna head up here, have a look. It's like their lookout tower, I guess. So I'm gonna head up and just see what the view's like. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure this is a car wash here too because someone's getting their car washed and there was another nice clean car just there. G'day fellas, here to check out the view. Look at this. It's a beautiful view here, isn't it? Yeah, this is a great spot for a beer here at Mopes. What a view. What a view. All right, fellas, we'll have a good day, eh? And that's the resort just there. It's a good size. And it looks like from the top, those rooms, we get a really nice view. So they must get some surf. Oh yeah. Yeah, because look, look there. And these guys look like they're uh, watching some surf videos from the resort, maybe uh, you know they're practicing surfing surfing not sure if it's straight out here or mm. it's around here but i know where we are you know out in pundaka we do get some really nice surf and we get some really great surf further north here especially in laliwa mm. so that's why i love this area because it's a great surf area ice creams for a hot day and aren't they cheap like 15 peso for an ice cream look at that yeah, we will. We will. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. And, mate, they've got a pool table. So we've got the pool shark here, Brian. And you know what? I really like that. You know, that bamboo clad. And then they've got that uh, window to let the air flow yeah, in. That, cool. Yeah, that looks really nice. Look at that window. Very clever. And it's just holding up there with that piece of bamboo. How's that? This is really cool because it gives you an idea of what's around here, this little map. You've got Subic Bay, Subic and Longapo, and that's where we first moved. Then we moved out here, 
just up from San Narciso, you've got Pondaka Beach where we live. And then here, you've got the Narciso Reef. You've got the islands and stuff here. And uh, here you've got San Narciso. And we're just here. So right now, Mopes is around here and Pundarka is further down here. Okay, so we live here and Mopes Resort is around here somewhere. Okay, and you can go up. San Felipe, San Felipe here is La Liwa. More good surf. But all along here, you've got a like huge stretch of coast where you've got really good surf all along here. The pup's chilling, he's chilling out. And look at this. You've even got coffee moat restaurants. So if you want some coffee, there is a little coffee shop here too. Awesome. Viewing deck. Yeah, look at that viewing deck. So me and Brian just admiring this gorgeous house next to Mopes. And it's got this amazing, like they've used all this glass, very modern, really nice design here. And it has this amazing viewing deck. Wow. You know, and this is a good idea because you can build a two-story home and then on top, make that a concrete roof. So you save money from not using roof trusses, you know, lots of steel and um, you do a concrete roof and then you can have a nice viewing deck like what they have here. And can you imagine, you know, from the third level with the viewing deck, just how nice that view, that panoramic view, looking at the mountains and the beach would be. I'd love to get up there and have a look one day. All right, well, the boys are back in town. We are back, <laughs> well and truly. It's good to be back, isn't it, Brian? My word. My word. All right, well, thanks for watching. This has been Pete and Brian. Double thumbs up. That's what you said. They're down close to the river. Yep, right near the river. That's the river. So we're turning around and we're driving onto the boardwalk now. It's a lovely spot here, it really is. We're driving out. Over and out. That's interesting there. Have a look at that. Looks like another resort being built. That's yeah. a big one, mate. Yeah. That's huge. A lot going on out here. Yeah. Yep, a lot of development. You can see these walls, they're newly constructed, so they're doing something. All right, pup. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Out of the way. Don't want to hurt you. All right, well, double thumbs up. Have a great day. And a uh, new video will be coming very soon. Very soon. Like everywhere. Everywhere sort of on the improve. Yep, it's definitely improving. So this is an old park here. Check this out. Nice little park that we're having a look at on the way out of leaving San Narciso. That's funny, it's got like a dolphin slide and a octopus slide, pretty cool. Yeah, but some nice new houses here, some nice new builds, some really nice properties. You can see the concrete, this newly concreted uh, sealed road. Here's another nice modern property right near the beach that's a nice build yeah it's a really nice build it, it's really coming up in the world i must say this whole area in zambales but uh san narciso here i haven't been here for a long time but i've got to say i'm impressed i'm really impressed look at that house look at that that's, that's a nice. gorgeous build mm. that's unbelievable that's a gorgeous property look at that and really coming up in the world here well and truly. This beautiful old church here. Gorgeous. So yeah, just grabbing a few 
barbecue chicken sandwiches and we're going to eat those for tea. Good place this. Definitely worth, you know, stopping in when, uh, you know, you're driving up this way to San Narciso. Stop in here, okay? Make sure you do here at the garage. FRA. It's a good place. They have really good food. It's really busy on a Wednesday. Everyone comes here on a Wednesday, but it's still worth visiting during the week. Trust me, the food is amazing and it's well priced. Here at the FRA. Just to make it easy for you when you're driving up, when you're on this side of the road, this is what it looks like. So you'll see it and you just turn right to the FRA.